what's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to remove and replace your uh, passenger side CV XL on this 2004 Volkswagen Passat. This car is an uh, all-wheel drive and it has the 1.8 liter uh, four-cylinder turbo engine. Okay, what we got to do next is just to get a small screwdriver or a small pick and then remove the center cap. There we go. What we got to do next is get a 17 millimeter Torx bit socket and then put this over our axle nut and then get our pry bar, put it over that. And then what I'm going to do next is get a long piece of pipe and put it over my pry bar and then that's going to give us more torque and then we can get this axle not loose. Alright, that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Okay, now with that axle not loose, now we can raise and support this side. Here's a look at our CV axle and uh, these these axles, they don't have a spline on this transmission side. Sorry, this is only attached to the transmission by these bolts around the circumference of the CV, the CV axle. So we're gonna remove, we're gonna need to remove those bolts. But first, we're gonna remove this shield. Okay, there are three bolts that are holding this uh, shield in, and it's gonna require a six millimeter hex bit so socket. And when you put this on, you want to make sure you push it in all the way, because uh, dirt and debris gets in between in the in the holes for the socket for the for the bolts. And then if you're socket is not seating properly all the way in you're going to strip the inside of the bolt and then you're going to have a you know hell of a time trying to get that bolt loose so make sure you push it in all the way if you have some brake clean just go ahead and spray the the bolts down it's going to help get the debris out from the inside of them therefore your uh, your socket can sit in all the way There we go, third and last. And here's the shield. Time to get these bolts off. Uh, for these, you'll need a 10 millimeter triple square bit. And these are available at almost any auto parts store. These are the standard size, you know, I think they have them from six millimeters to 10 or 12 or something. But, uh, but yeah, that's what you're gonna need. And for this one, we also need a 13 millimeter socket. Put it over it. And then again, make sure when you put this in, it's seated all the way and all the, all the teeth are uh, engaging, are engaged inside of the bolt. There we go. Also, if you have a hard time accessing some of them, you can always just put the car in neutral temporarily and then rotate these shafts to get a, you know, get more access to one, one or more of these bolts. Okay, so after removing all the bolts, we're going to detach this from the transmission side. Now this is on there, this is the original uh, CV axle and it's on there pretty tight. You know, some rust has settled in, so we're just going to get a small uh, hammer and try to hit it to get it to, 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 uh, to get loose, okay? There we go. Now with this loose, we're just going to push it up and to the back. Now to the front, before we can completely remove this bolt, we want to make sure you can press on it and that the, the CV joint in here is not stuck. If it's stuck, you want to spray some PV blaster in here, hit this with a hammer, make sure it's, it's in uh, most of the way, and then uh, you try it again, try pushing it in, and you'll get it loose eventually. Then you remove this bolt. Okay, you know what? We need to turn this all the way to the left. That way we'll have more space open up here and we can uh, we can get this axle out without removing anything else okay actually I'm just gonna turn the steering wheel okay now with the steering wheel turned all the way to the left we should have enough space to push this through there we go almost there Hooray. All right, here we go. Out, free and clear. Uh, when you get the new one, make sure you take it out of the box, put it next to this, and make sure everything matches. The, the length, uh, those rings up front for your ABS sensor, and everything is, uh, is, a, is a set. Okay, so just got back from the store, got our ourselves our new CV joint. Now we're just gonna throw this back on here. Basically, installation is just gonna be a reversal of removal. You just uh, put this side in first, Make sure you get it to the side, then we're gonna put the side with the splines into the hub first. There we go. There's this side. Just line this up with the bolt holes that go onto the flange. 
and we start putting those bolts in. Yeah, and these bolts that go onto the flange, you probably want to put a couple of drops of uh, blue Loctite on these because you never want these to come loose. And you want to run these by hand just so you're sure you're not cross-threading them. And also you want to go in a crisscross pattern, in a star pattern. So you do one up top, then on the bottom, then come back here, then to the left, back to the right, and that's how you're going to go. Next we're going to torque these down and the torque spec for these bolts is 33 foot-pounds. Next we put this shield back on. Okay, I need to make a correction. The torque spec for this uh, triple square M10 bolts are 52 foot-pounds, but if they are M8, uh, it's going to be 30 foot-pounds. Okay, next in order to torque down our uh, axle bolts, we need to get the wheel on and tighten it down and then get the car on the ground. The torque spec for our uh, axle bolt is 140 foot-pounds and then a 180 degree turn. Okay, so first we're going to get it to 140 foot-pounds. Next, we'll do our uh, 180 degrees, which means basically from this angle, going one complete half a turn to this side, okay? I'm going to start with my pry bar, and then I'm going to start using the, the pipe for this. That's all there is to it folks, hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more like it, and also check out these uh, related videos that I'll put on the side of the screen that you can click on, and if you want to support Righteous and Wrenches and bring you more videos, check out my support page of which I'll put a link down below this video and in the description box as well. Alright, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.